It's been described by the United Nations as being one of, if not the most terrible place for children. These kids are being raped, turned into sex slaves. They're having limbs chopped off. They're being forced to murder their own parents, their own siblings. We've got to get the world to see what's going on. And so we've got to do something about it. Sister Rosemary gives them something that you can't buy. She gives them love. This girl said she was abducted only when she was 10 years old. And before being trained as a soldier, she was forced to kill her own friend. And as I say, how did you kill your friends? We were told to hit the head until she died. When she was 13 years old, she was given to a rebel commander whom she described herself was like her grandfather to be her husband. Yeah, she gave birth to three kids to this man, and at the same time she had to fight. The girl escaped from captivity. Coming home, she found nobody, no parents. She found her mother was killed by the LRA, and there was nobody she could fall back on. And now she's forced to be a mother of three kids, and she had to be on her own. So we've got to get the world to see what's going on to see that it's outrageous and to see that something's got to be done to stop it. Sister Rosemary has a school in Gulu, that's in the northern part of Uganda, and that's where the, the worst of this conflict exists, to provide them with a place to stay that is safe and to provide them with a way of earning a living. Reggie Whitten had met Sister Rosemary a few years ago, and when uh, he talked about going over there and helping her, it was, it was very simple. Let's get some athletes together with Adrian Peterson, Tommy Harris, Roy Williams, the Mark Clayton. Let's get some doctors together. Let's get some professionals. Let's go over there and let's help these women and these children. You'll go places where there are hundreds of thousands of people sharing one or two water wells. Water is vital for these people and to be able to, to dig the water wells and, and show people um, how to dig the water wells. So as they left, people knew there was a business there to dig more water wells. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Pros for Africa. You guys sparked a whole flurry of well drilling all throughout this region. There's gonna be clean water because of what you guys are being deliberate in doing. We gave out flour and beans, and you could have sworn that we were giving deeds to houses out there. As me and Adrian Peterson begin to pour all the rice and the beans and the flowers and all those things into the bags of the people. They only have one bag for flour, one bag for beans. And as beans begin to hit the ground, they would kneel down and pick up the spare things. It was a big eye-opener for me. We saw lots of malaria, lots of infections, ear infections, eye infections, and gastrointestinal infections as well. We saw in excess of 600 patients over the two and a half days and we only had four doctors. Every time we looked out to see how many more patients we had, the benches were full. This impacts the whole community politically, financially, and socially in lots of other areas as well. But it's a matter of what can we do in our small part to make the world a better place. Bye bye. Thank you for what you have done. Just meeting these girls face to face, um, the first thing I wanted to do was put a smile on their face. It was amazing to see these guys interact with, with the kids over there. And give these kids something to laugh about and give them some hope. Um, because how do you live without hope? Coming in uh, brings a smile to a face of a child, of a woman, of a man who has probably never smiled for weeks. Pros for Africa is just an example of professional athletes, professionals in any category getting up off the couch and doing something with their lives, doing more. Not just enough, we're doing more. I think we have a great group of professionals that could come together and really impact multiple different facets of need for that population. They're taking their networks, they're taking their experience and saying, what's the mission? Well, the mission is northern Uganda. And we've got a woman who's fighting terrorists with sewing machines. She needs our help. And come on board because we, we need you, we want you. We want you to be able to be a blessing to other people. It's just not about football players, it's not about artists, it's, it's not about doctors, it's about everybody. Everybody wanting to help 
We want to go to Africa and make a difference in these girls' lives. These kids can't do it on their own. They've got to have somebody help them. And so we've got to do something about it.